Hi there, I'm Patrick Jones and I have just finished a, an Australian government um, survey uh, which I am uh, alerting your attention to because I feel the Australian government needs to hear our responses. Um, I don't particularly trust any government and I don't particularly trust any process, but it says here, we asked, you said, we did. So in the spirit of that, um, in the Australian government's Department of Health and Aged Care, specifically relating to their preparing for and responding to future pandemics and other international health emergencies. So uh, I'm going to read my survey answers. What is your name? My name is Dr. Patrick Jones. In what state or territory are you based? Uh, I'm in Victoria. Um, question one, how can international cooperation be improved to more effectively prevent, prepare for and respond to future pandemics and other international health emergencies? My response is to improve health outcomes, vested interests in pharmaceuticals must be properly regulated and transparency must be returned so as the investment class is not driving the, the narrative. Today, there is widespread corruption in the state pharma nexus with revolving doors between industry and governments. Unless regulatory institutions are free from industry capture and billionaires puppeteering organizations such as the WHO, we will see a repeat of the COVID response, which was diabolical to human health and continues to be. Question two. What issues do you think need to be prioritised to guide the world's future preparation for and responses to future pandemics and other international health emergencies? Note that this is the Australian government um, speaking in terms of the world's future. I don't know how that uh, eventuated, but um, it just seems bizarre that a nation state um, should be speaking on behalf of the world. So my response to the question two is return science to independent scientists and encourage the press to examine the industry capture of science. Governments must desist from employing behavioral scientists to nudge pseudoscience health measures that aim to grow profits and thus drive on the illness industry as we've seen throughout COVID. Question three, is there any other information you would like to provide that might help to guide Australia's engagement on a new international pandemic instrument and changes to the IHR? My response is to desist from being involved in industry captured WHO and other corrupted industry first global institutions return to science-based responses and expose science manipulation by vested interests like Bill Gates. And then uh, I finish by saying, please see my thorough research on the matter of captured science here and send them to the link of my piece on GMOs in the COVID moment, uh, which is a significant piece exposing the capture of media organisations, governments and um, other institutions, health institutions, particularly um, by the pharmaceutical industry. I'm going to leave you a link in the description here if you're Australian and you want to uh, click on that survey and fill out that survey for yourself. Um, now's a good chance to do it. You've got until the 17th of September 2023, so just a few weeks away. It probably won't make any difference whatsoever, but in case it does, uh, and they actually, <laughs> the Australian government is actually serious about we asked, you said we did, then there's no harm in trying apart from maybe getting a A0 file, which I no doubt already have. Okay, over to you in the comments and over to you in terms of action.
against this collusion of state and corporate interest.